Yo, what's up everyone? Skulls Nightshade here, and today we're gonna go over our brand new scratch, which is the Elemental Defender. So we're kind of getting out of our casual wear arc. We've been having a lot of very casual looking outfits. This is the first time in a while we have very mystic looking outfits. So I'm really excited for this. But let's go ahead and start and look at these bonuses. I don't expect anything crazy, but I like to take a look because they have been switching up the EX motions. So we have our normal stuff, color change pass, a ticket. Um, we also have the EX glide. So anyone who likes the fairy style, you have a really, really cute glide as well as the EX idol. Very fairy godmother-esque. Very cute. And then select ticket. All the rest is pretty normal, pretty standard. But let's go ahead and take a look at the prize list. All right, I took off my outerwear, so this is a little easier to look at. But we're starting with type 1 uh, atten attentator, I think is how you say it. Attentator. And it's an outerwear. We have the two variants of that. The B variant. And the B2 variant. This is one of those outerwears. It looks like that comes equipped with a lot of clipping. Ooh, but we have the evil Sel Salamande. Salamand. I'm sorry, I'm butchering names right now, guys. We <laughs> the evil Salamand, which I think this outfit is so awesome. Like, look at that. Look at that type one skulls. I'm just saying. If I were to make a type one, this is what they would probably uh, wear. We have the two variants. The B variant. And the B2 variant. And the way that the tail looks, as well as the gradient, it kind of looks like the demon outfit we got a while back. Um, but a little bit different. We also have the inner wear. Let's look at it with the inner wear. Oh yeah, I personally like it better without it, but it fits really, really well. So we have the two variant of the inner wear. The B variant. The B2 variant. Um, also, please excuse my shoes. The shoes do not go with the outfit. I just realized <laughs> that I had uh, shoes on. All right, so we now have the same outerwear, but for type two so the attentator, attentator oh my goodness <laughs> sorry guys uh we also have the two variants of that the b variant as well as the b2 we have the base wear which i love this base wear I thought this was going to have a little more of a waist cloth issue. Uh, the main issue I see is this little thing is kind of flapping around because of my hip size, but hopefully I can turn my waist cloth down and fix that. All right, we have the two variants. Let's do it without the outerwear. The B variant. And the B2 variant. And I want to see something really quick. Let's see. What does this hide? Okay. So, oh, wow. Okay. This is almost like a whole different outfit. That makes me like this a lot more. I think that's really cute. I think I like that maybe more than the original. But you can get rid of those parts that are kind of being weird and derpy and are highly affected by the waist cloth so that's nice i hope they continue to do that with outfits because waist cloth is still a major issue all right we have the sophie confier which is it looks very mystic elf and this is a set where we have the two variants the b variant as well as the b2 variant You know, not everything on the scratch so far is my style, but I really like the scratch. We're, we're still at the top. All right, so we have the base wear that goes along with that. Let's look at it with the base wear. 
Oh, I guess we can't. Oh, yes, that's a set wear, not an outerwear. Um, we have the B variant. The cutesy sit. Oh, that's adorable, which is a featured item. We have the fairy idol, the farfalla. We have the movement, the dash. Let's put some clothes on. The dash and the glide, which has like a floating motion. All right, we have weapon stance too. Now we have a portable hologram of the Japanese maple tree, portable hologram of a steel chair, a school podium, which uh, this looks a little weird. I guess we're not able to see the preview correctly. We have school teacher's desk. We have the school chair. The school desk. There is an owl. And now for hair. So we have the evil uh, Salamende hair. Which this looks like another hairstyle. I can't really put my finger on it, but we just got it re-released in the scratch that we had a little while back. That was just hairstyles. If anyone knows what that hair is called, please tell me in the comments because I would like to know. It completely has slipped my mind. Mm -hmm. All right, we have the Intendator here. I'm going to butcher that name this entire video. I apologize. We have the Silphy Comfier hair. That's very pretty. All right, we have Radio Iris eyes. The Sophie eyes matching the fairy vibes. We have thick, neat eyebrows. Slim, troubled eyebrows. Spiky, perfect lashes. Oh my goodness, they are killing me with these lashes now. Such a silly thing to spend so much on, I feel like, but they're so good. We have, so we have the B variant of the spiky, perfect lashes and the C variant as well. Uh, gothic Atone makeup, which you can't see because I'm currently wearing the uh, makeup that covers all of that. All right, we have the uh, Evil Salamende Paint B. And the regular paint, the B variant was actually above that in the scratch. That's very strange. I don't think that's supposed to be on purpose. Anyway, we have the Japanese Whiskers paint. The B variant of that. Domino mask paint. Looks very superhero esque. The B variant of that. We have the Attent tights, which you can see over my tights currently. Um, you can see it a little bit better in the preview right next to my head. Uh, we have the B variant of that. I wish that we could get a higher quality preview of this, but uh, that'll have to do for now. All right, we have the Attent gloves. The B variant of the gloves. We have gold neck paint. Oh, I guess this is all body paint. I was like, why is it? Not allowing me to wear clothes while I show you guys this. All right, we have the B variant of the gold neck paint. We have the Evil Salamende mask. The tall crown. We're going to see a lot of uh, Princess Peaches running around, I feel like. <laughs> the simple glasses. Oh, I like these. Those kind of look like my glasses. I feel like Chrono's gonna like these. A uh, double prong belt. Put our clothes back on. We have the double prong belt. The loose straggly hair extensions. Uh, the hair I have on is actually a very good example of how to use this. 
from the preview, it kind of looks a little underwhelming, but actually having it uh, on hairstyle looks really good. We have the bun extension, which is kind of hard to see under my ponytail. It looks like I didn't finish my bun. The petrified horns, which depending on how you could rotate those, I might be playing around with those a bit. The ribbon bangles. Fantastic wings. The Energia Charm, or I'm sorry, Energia Chakram. I apologize for that. I could see you doing something really cool with that if you attach that to the hand. I always think of like a Chakram as like a weapon. Maybe I've just played too many, too many RPGs. All right. We have the Sim 21 uh, Rude Borsche, Borsche TL. Don't know if I said that name correctly, but here we are. We have the B variant of that accessory. We have the SL, which are rockets on the back and the B variant of that. And that's everything. All right. I apologize for butchering like all of the names, guys. Oh, that was probably a little bit painful. But let's go ahead and take a look at our featured items. We have QT Sit. Let's check the market price for that. There is one on the market. The servers have only been up for 34 minutes. It's 3.34 a.m. Uh, since over here we've had daylight savings. So the servers go down and up an hour earlier. But we have this for 10.2 mil. The weapon stands two. I actually didn't look at the type two version. Oh, well, that's cute. All right. So we have that for 14 mil and there's two on the market. Uh, actually, there's four, two uh, per player. And anything else? All right. The hair. 15.4 mil. So all of these prices so far, the way that they're looking, they're going to go down. Yeah, the only one that might keep its price or go up is the QT sit. All right, for this hair, we don't have any on the market just yet. And for this one, we have quite a few on the market. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. We have 16.5 mil as the highest price and 11.5 mil as the lowest price. I mean, it's a really cute hairstyle. I think it's probably going to stay around 10 mil. But if it keeps dropping at this rate, since we have so many already flooded on the market, I could see this going down as low as like four to five mil. I don't know if it would keep that price, but I could see it going down if it keeps this trend. And that is it for our featured items. Let's look at the petrified horns and see if there's any. All right, we have a couple and it looks like the price is really good. I might go pick these up right after the video. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy your scratch ticket. It's really nice and it's very refreshing to have a scratch ticket that's not a more street style or modern style or a bit more casual than the ones that we've had um, like recently. But as always, guys, stay comfy. Bye.